Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I have got three super easy and delicious sheet pan dinners. Let's go ahead and get into it. First step is smoked sausage and veggies. This one was super easy to put together. And this is one of these ones that I kind of used what I had in my pantry and fridge to kind of make this into a easy sheet pan dinner. Um, I used kielbasa, that's what we prefer. Um, but of course, just use whatever you want. I did have a can of green beans um, because I didn't have any fresh or frozen. I had a little bit of carrots and then I pulled out that potato gnocchi for my prepper pantry. And then for the seasonings, I'm gonna use Zesty Italian, of course, some olive oil and some balsamic vinegar. So first I'm just going to cut up my kielbasa. I just cut it up into coins and then I'm gonna get that put into that big bowl in the back and that's one of the joys about sheet pan dinners is they are like either like one bowl plus one sheet pan so it makes it really easy and way less cleanup. Next, we're gonna add in our carrots. And then this was my first time using potato gnocchi as um, like worth roasting it. I've never roasted potato gnocchi before. I've always just boiled it and added it into like a sauce or a pasta. But this was so good. I absolutely loved the crunch on the outside and then the soft pillow on the inside. It reminded me of a pierogi, but like a little bitty. <laughs> um, and so I just added that whole pack in there. I did make sure to break it up. That way they weren't clumping together. And then I just coated everything in olive oil, added on some balsamic vinegar. And I added in about three fourths of that pack of dry Italian because where my green beans were canned, I wanted to add those towards the end. So I just put the harder veggies and the sausage in the oven at 400 first for about 10 to 15 minutes to get it going. And then I will add the green beans later. So I went ahead and prepped up my green beans. I just drained the water off of those and added those into that same bowl. No need to dirty up more dishes. Added the rest of that Italian packet in there and then just did the same thing. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar, gave them a toss. That way those are ready to go whenever I need to add those on. Now, like I said, all I had was canned green beans. You can easily use fresh, but I would add those in a little bit sooner. Um, or you can even use frozen. Just change it up. Use what you have in your house or what your family prefers. So here is what it looks like. I just got it out, made sure to give it a good toss. And then we're going to add those green beans right on there and then just put it back in the oven for the remainder time. And here is what it looks like when it is all done. I'm telling y'all, this was so good. It was something different and I really, really enjoyed it. This next one is one of my personal favorite. I absolutely love using the McCormick one sheet pan dinners. This is the farmer's market one. I've used it several times and I highly recommend. So for mine, I used um, chicken thighs. I prefer chicken thighs if I'm going to be roasting in the oven. I feel like they do so much better. You have that nice dark meat so it stays nice and juicy at the high temperature. And then I'm using potatoes, onions, and some carrots. I'm going to start off by prepping up my veggies. I'm going to get my sweet potatoes and regular potatoes cut up and my onion and get everything in the big old bowl. And then we're going to add in our carrots add in some olive oil and give everything a good toss and then we're going to add on some of that farmer's market seasoning as you see i had two laid out because i wasn't sure with this amount of veggies how many i needed but i ended up only using one and it was very flavorful and delicious
once I get my veggies all coated well I like to go ahead and add those to my greased baking pan and I'm just going to kind of make a hole in the center to put my chicken in the center um, that way it's kind of easier to um, toss the veggies around the side and not touch the chicken in the center while it's cooking so I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken thighs in that same bowl same thing olive oil add the rest of that farmers market seasoning give everything a good coat and we will add that right in the center Before we got it in the oven, I did put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on there, mainly on the chicken, just to kind of help it give that extra flavor. I love balsamic vinegar, so if I can add it to any recipe, I definitely try to. So I just put that in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes, and then here I'm just taking it out, tossing the veggies, make sure they get well cooked through, and then we will put it back in for the remainder time. I just like to check the chicken to see kind of what temperature it's at. You just want to make sure the chicken is cooked through to 165 internal temp and then of course just make sure your veggies are cooked through as well. what it looks like when it is all done I highly recommend trying the farmers market seasoning if you have not already last but not least y'all this is the perfect sheet pan dinner and a great way to use up any leftovers so I actually had some leftover taco meat and rice from the night before and so I just decided to make some sheet pan nachos I got out some cheese I used Doritos for myself this time but you can use regular tortilla chips I also got out a can of corn I like to do corn black beans y'all can load it up with whatever taco toppings that you want this is one of those perfect get rid of leftovers or just a meal in general we love having nachos as a meal um, but it, it is one good way especially if you have like leftover grilled chicken or um, leftover steak like this is the perfect way to use up those ingredients and just pile it up on chips with some extra toppings and then pour on some cheese on top and just get it put in the oven Once I got them all loaded up, I put them in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. You just want to make sure everything is heated through and that cheese is nice and melty. These are definitely a family favorite around here. Perfect one pan dinner. And that is it y'all that wraps up today's video i really hope you enjoyed these three super easy and delicious sheet pan dinners hope it gives you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home with way less mess hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye guys